Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for today's video. It is a very exciting video. I'm going to be redoing a client's laundry room. So they went ahead and ordered a brand new washer and dryer. So they wanted to go ahead and just completely redo, redo the entire room. So I'm very excited. Um, so we will be painting walls, redoing the floors, all new like decorations. Um, we will be, you know, just changing up some little things here and there and we're going to make it a completely different laundry room and I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are ready for this video. If you guys like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm Sabra, cleaner, organizer, and interior decorator. Ever since I was little, I had a passion for making things clean, pretty, and simple. I wanna help you no longer feel embarrassed or ashamed, but rather love and know your home. I wanna help by motivating you, encouraging you, and sharing tips and tricks to create the home of your dreams. Alright you guys, so since I am at a client's house doing their laundry room, I wanted to walk you through all of the steps and everything, so I figured I would just do a voiceover because um, I didn't want to bother them too much, but I do want to walk you through everything. So the first thing we did, um, obviously you see all the before pictures, um, and then we're going ahead and priming the cabinets because we will be doing cabinetry in here. So those, while those are drying, I'm going to go into the laundry room. Um, we took all the wire shelving and everything down already, and I'm ready to go ahead and patch um, all the holes. So I bought this little um, drywall mud <laughs> type patching thing, um, and it dries really fast, which is something that I really appreciated. Um, it did have like an automatic like spatula thing on there, but I definitely recommend having your own because it didn't get it like perfectly like flat and straighten everything like you want it to be. So um, for that, I, I recommend the product. It's very strange. It's kind of like foamy in a sense. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but um, I don't recommend using the like, little spatula thing that it came with. You see me trying it, obviously, but trust me, just don't do that. Use your own if you have one. Um, I've done lots of like drywall work in a lot of places. They're, um, you can buy them at like Home Depot or anything. So I recommend going ahead and just buying one of those and using that. Um, and anyways, I went ahead and uh, patched up all the walls. Um, once that was all done, I went ahead and started painting. So I kept it, you know, pretty light colored. So we just want to keep it kind of like a white, um, which, you know, kind of helps to keep the room nice and bright because we will be doing darker cabinetry. So um, I went ahead and started painting. Painting is always you know, a super simple thing that can make a room look completely different. Um, it's kind of hard to tell in this video, but there were some spots on the wall that were very noticeable. <laughs> um, that, you know, there were a lot of like scratch marks or something like that. Um, so it was nice to really just like stop and cover those up. Um, so that was really nice. Um, and again, it, you know, kept the room nice and bright and airy. Um, and then once we are done with painting the wall, um, we went ahead, they did buy a new washer and dryer. So um, you'll kind of see randomly that will like come in. <laughs> but um, we went ahead and started working on the flooring once we got those old ones out. So we went ahead, I put down the hardy board and everything. Um, and then we went ahead and started laying tile. So obviously there's a lot to it. Um, and I tried to get just a little bit of it so you guys could see. Um, but it was a very beautiful like marble looking tile. Um, and you know, I had to do all of the, the whole process of putting down the actual flooring. So, um, that was a fun process cause it was a smaller room, so it wasn't horrible. <laughs> um, cutting all the tiles is fun, but, um, we went ahead and laid all of that down. And then that was the last thing we did that night because obviously you want to let that set and dry for as long as possible. So we did it one night and then the next morning we came in and continued to um, work on the room. So um, you'll see me laying the tile here. I also think that with this tile, it was nice and light as well. So it kind of kept that, 
you know, color, the like white color, um, and kind of lightened it up and, you know, that wasn't the linoleum anymore. Um, so that was really nice. I hate linoleum. Um, and then on top of that, I had the like little nice, um, like gray, you know, streaks the writ, um, obviously like the like veins for the marble. So that was really pretty. Um, and you know, it kind of brought in those like grays and darker colors that were going to, and to end up putting up, you know, where the cabinets are and, um, everything like that. So, cause again, those will be a darker color. So that helped a lot. And plus we put a rug in there, which you'll see obviously at the very end, whenever we're decorating, they kind of helped to bring out that, you know, gray from the flooring. So it was, I really liked that choice. Of course, I'm a marble fan as it is, but <laughs> I always like it whenever, you know, it kind of brings in both colors. And then it was time to finally paint the cabinets because the um, primer, we did a few coats of it. Um, it was finally dry. So it's time to start painting cabinets. Again, we did a really, really dark gray. Um, it was almost black, but not quite. Um, so it was a really, really pretty color. You'll see it in just a few seconds um, where, you know, it finally was finished and dried, um, but we did still have to wait on that. So I tried to do, you know, layers of paint um, slowly, then we'll let it dry by going and doing something else in the laundry room. So and the next thing we did is grout the floors because um, they were finally all down. Um, so went in there and again, this is one of those things you kind of want to do like last so that way it has time to settle and dry. So this was another day <laughs> um, where, you know, we finally, I finally finished everything up in there as far as the grout goes and then we left it alone because the next morning the washer and dryer were going to be there. So when I had grouted, cleaned it all up um, and then again, you will see the washer and dryer. It is always better to do a lighter color grout if the actual color of the tile is a lighter color. Um, you don't want it to, like without the grout, as you can see, the lines are very noticeable. We almost want it to look like one big solid sheet in a way. So um, it makes it look nice and clean and pretty. Um, and I really like that. So I always recommend going with a lighter grout if you have lighter tile. Um, so as you can see, we already got the washer and dryer in there. Beautiful. <laughs> um, they were the champagne color um, with Samsung. And um, we went ahead and started putting up the um, brackets for the shelves. So I went ahead, you'll see me struggle a little bit, but made holes. Um, and then went ahead and, you know, put the screws and everything in as well as the anchors and all of that. Um, I really recommend some anchors that you can buy at um, like Home Depot or Lowe's. They're a little bit bigger. They hold a lot more weight um, and they're super easy to put in. I will try to link them down below if I can remember. and then it was finally time to put in the shelves. So I went ahead and put this one in on camera and then I went ahead and put in the cabinets and the other um, shelf off camera. So <laughs> you'll see that or at least a little bit of the prop fitting up a cabinet. We did just buy these at Home Depot unfinished and then painted them ourselves. Um, we primed and painted just like we did, um, you know, the cabinet doors, which you saw. So um, we went ahead and put all of that up, which changed the look of the room completely, but you always have to remember the light fixture. So this one is just a normal builder grade, as you guys know, um, you know, that they always put in all the homes. Um, and I highly recommend if you have a space to change out the light fixture, it will change the space completely. Um, so for this room, I actually just did like a matte black um, finished 
you know, type of lighting and it turned out so pretty. I absolutely loved it. Again, changed the look of the room completely. But then it was finally time for decorating, which is my favorite. So we went ahead and put something on this wall. We put four pictures uh, because in there, and I didn't want that wall to be blank. So we went ahead and did the wash, dry, fold, repeat signs. Um, and then we kind of had them staggered too, which I appreciated because it kind of brought your eye up towards the top of the cabinets on the left side, but then it kind of brought it down on the right side because then there was just like a little trash can in the corner, which you guys will see in a moment that I put in there. So um, I kind of liked how it was staggered because um, it kind of brought your eye up, but also down in a way. So I thought it looked really good in that space, but we went ahead and started working on the shelves you know, decorating those, which I absolutely love. Um, we bought a lot of this stuff off of Amazon, so go check out Amazon if you guys are looking for anything to place on your <laughs> laundry room shelves. Um, there were some cute like little laundry signs, um, and then I got to decorate the little tiny tray um, with some, you know, linens and that kind of stuff, which I loved. Um, that's always like my favorite part is decorating those like small areas, but um, went ahead and did all of that. Turned out super cute. Um, but we also went ahead and put down that rug that I was talking about earlier in the video. So we put down a um, mat so where it wouldn't, you know, move around. And then we put the rug down on top of that and it kind of brought out, you know, the darker colors like I was saying. So I really liked that. Um, and then I will go ahead and show you guys the before and the after pictures. Um, I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope you guys did as well. If you guys did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Um, and then I will see you guys in the next video. Keep watching for this after. It's a huge transformation. So, um, but again, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much.